Okay, so we have a leak here on this baseboard. You can see the hole right there. We're gonna cut it back far enough so that the swelling in the pipe uh, does not uh, make it hard to put the coupling on. These are some of the tools that we're gonna need uh, to do this repair. We're gonna need some emery cloth, two different types of couplings. One is a repair coupling, it has no stop. The other coupling has a stop in the middle. This is a regular three quarter inch coupling. We need solder. We need a tape measure so that we can measure the pipe um, to replace the part that we cut out. We need a reamer, a sheet metal cutter, needle nose pliers. I use this Milwaukee pipe cutter because it can get into close areas. Then I have a drill and a wire brush and I'll show you how I clean the pipe. And then I have a flux. And what I do uh, with the flux brush is just bend it um, at a 45 degree angle. That way I can get um, behind the copper pipe whenever I apply the flux. I lay the plastic drop cloth down in order to prevent uh, making a bigger mess if we cut this pipe and there's a bunch of water in it. Um, I have dry paper towels on standby just to catch any kind of extra water that might leak. And then I have uh, this paper towel here is wet. I use it as a heat shield. Um, when I go to solder um, or heat up anything, um, the wet paper towels here will not catch on fire and they also will stop the heat from transferring into the carpet or the plastic or into the metal. I use an automatic lighting torch. Uh, all I have to do is pull the trigger and it will ignite. And I can lock the flame on by uh, pushing this little button. I'm going to go ahead and ream out the ends of the pipe. And then I'm going to ream out the pipes here. Then I'm going to drain the water out of the pipe as much as I can. So I'll lean it down, tilt it down and push it down just to make sure there's no water standing in the pipe. see the little bit of water there. Next, I'm gonna take the torch and help dry the pipe out. You don't want any water inside the pipe when you go to solder it. Um, that way, uh, it, it'll get up to temperature and then melt the solder, and then it won't cause any problems with the bonding of the solder to the pipe. So my next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and use the emery cloth and clean the copper pipe. It still can be hot, so you got to be careful. Uh, make sure it's cooled down a little bit. So now it's nice and clean. So you just want to make sure that you clean these pipes to remove any of the dirt, grime, and oxidation on the pipes. We're going to go ahead and put flux on it to prevent it from oxidizing while we heat it. You just want to put a thin coat on the copper. So if you have any extra or excess flux on the pipe, you'll just wipe it off with the brush. Um, I just need to make sure I have enough flux on here to coat everything. So next, I want to make sure that my couplings are also cleaned out. I use this little tool here, makes it easier. So then you want to apply flux inside of the fittings, just a thin coat all the way around inside. So then I need to clean uh, this copper pipe. I've already reamed it. The way I do this is take this same tool, I just slide it inside the pipe this time. And then I can just use the, the emery cloth. It makes it uh, much faster and easier to clean.
make sure you apply the flux far enough onto the pipe that wherever the coupling is going to end, you're just a little bit past that. That's where I'm going to touch my solder to the pipe. You don't want bare metal with no flux where you're touching the solder to it because it won't stick to the pipe. I'm going to put the ends onto this copper. One regular coupling and one repair coupling. The repair coupling can slide all the way onto the pipe. And now this is the pipe exposed here. That way I can get this pipe all the way into that spot. I'm not able to push the pipe apart, so I have to fit something into it and then connect it. Just like that. Now I can go ahead and solder it. I like to use Silver Bright 100. I get enough solder out and I just bend the end of it um, just so that I can get behind the piping. You wanna keep the torch moving. You don't wanna heat it in one spot on the, on the copper, but you're also paying attention to the baseboard. You don't wanna get the baseboard too hot in one spot either. So you can either put um, one of these wet rags behind it, or you can kinda of keep the flame moving and then just get the copper hot enough without overheating the wall. Another good tool is a mirror so you can look at the joint all the way around. Good flashlight so that you can uh, see in the dark. Okay, last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wet rag and I can use it to help cool the pipe down. want to wipe off any flux that's left on the pipe that way it doesn't um, start turning green and corroding the pipe so thank you for watching this video I hope it was helpful and um, please stay tuned to more videos and don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you like it.